Hi, welcome to this video. Today, we will be automating Instagram posting with Python and Instabot. We will do something differently. Basically, we will be using a takeinter as GUI interface to take the username, password, image file, and the caption as an input. Then these inputs will be processed and we will see the results shortly. So, let's see a demonstration for this first. If we open Okay, so let's start the budget environment and let's call upon the file. As you can see that this is the GUI where we'll put the username, the password, we'll just put test caption. And then we'll choose an image. Basically, we'll choose this image. Now, if you can see, it has logged in successfully. Now we have to wait for a while to so that the image gets uploaded. So while this is working, let's show you the Instagram account. As you can see, let me refresh. So this was the last post. Uh, let's bring up the bash here and you will be seeing. And now you can see that the image has been uploaded. So if I refresh Instagram, there you go. This is the image that I have uploaded and you can see that it says test caption. So now we will get started with the video. We will start with the coding part. And before we start, I will ask you to smash that like button, share and subscribe this channel, hit the bell icon so that more and more potential viewers like you may see what contents I make. So in the first place, let's, let's create the virtual environment. So as I have virtual environment already installed in my computer, so I will be just putting the command Python minus n. Venth. This is the name of the virtual environment and it will take some time to be created. Okay, the virtual environment has been created, so let's just activate it. Okay, now we will be installing Instabot. So we give the command pip install Instabot and it will take some time to install. Once it's installed, we will be just saving this in a file called requirements.txt so to do that we will show you okay it has successfully been installed now to save that in a file called requirements.txt we write it freeze requirements.txt okay so now if you can see the requirements.txt, so these are the things that are required, the dependencies that has been installed. Okay, now let's create a file called main.py and now let's start coding. So first of all, let's import the dependency. So from takeinter, we will be importing everything. Asterisk. So from takeinter, we will import file dialog. And from insta bot, we will import bot. Okay, let's start with initializing the bot. This is the bot being initialized, and this will be the tkinter GUI initialized. And we want the GUI to have a geometry of around 500 into 500 pixels. So this should be a string. All right, that's all right. Now the thing is, in the GUI, we will be needing the username. Uh, that means a user will input his username, then the password, then the caption he wants to use for upload for the image to be uploaded, and then he will have to choose the image. So for the f the first thing we will do is we will create the username box so we name uh, 
to name it username this is a label it goes to root then the text on it will be username and let's pack it so the username now this is the entry entry means the input it'll go and then pack okay similarly we will be creating the password and the caption so let me just copy and paste it twice okay i'll change this to password and copy the word password paste it here paste it here and paste it here as well so in case of the password we do not want to show what the password is so here we will be using show it will display as asterisk when you enter the password and finally this will be the caption so all right as you can see we have the username we have the password and we have the caption as well and the last thing that we need is a button which we, when we will be clicking it it will open file explorer where from where you can choose the image so the text on this button will be choose the image and we will write a function called file dialog not pack so now let's define the function file dialog So this is the function. First of all, we will take the path of the image. Ask open file name. Then let's log in to the system. Bot.login. We need the username. And the username will be the username that we got from the GUI. So we write username.get. Similarly, we will get the password, which is also obtained from the GUI. So, password.get. After that, we'll be uploading the photo. So, upload underscore photo, bot dot upload underscore photo. And we will be using the path that we obtained just two lines ago. And the caption will be the caption that we have obtained from the GUI again. So, caption dot get okay that's about it I guess and root dot main loop this is necessary to trigger up the GUI now let's open a terminal and activate the virtual environment okay it's activated now let's run our python file okay there you go you can see the GUI where now we will be inserting the username then the password and then the caption will be something like this is a test upload and we choose an image we will be using this image again and if you can see it says login flow successfully login and just logged in true now it takes some time to process the photo and to upload it so we will wait and come back when it's uploaded okay as you can see this was the image we have uploaded previously while showing before coding and this is the image that i have uploaded now and it has the caption this is a test upload so this is the image that i've uploaded all right now we can close it now i want to show you something that when you are uploading uh, when you run this file for the first time you 
this is an automatically generated config file where you get a JSON file which has a cookie with, with your username so basically now you will see if I try to run this file again it does not actually run so if I put python in the pi it get it will ask for the username and the password and everything but once it gets it gets the same username and the same password as we have posted so this will not run I'll just type something we'll choose an image see this is what the error is being got that's why we need to do something so that this doesn't happen so for this purpose we will import OS and import blob and we will just put cookie delete blob dot blob and we will put the name of that JSON file let's just copy it from here and paste it here and with that we will just remove this key delete there you go okay so now if you try to run this file again you'll still get the you'll be putting the inputs so password this this is a second test and we'll choose an image we'll choose this one this time and see now it will be uploaded see it has logged in now we will wait for the upload and then we'll come back okay now as you can see that this file has been uploaded let's check so this is the Instagram account let's refresh and there you go this is the file that has been uploaded and with the caption this is a second test so basically that's it for the video i hope you've enjoyed it and consider subscribing to this channel hit the bell icon like and share this video and i hope to see you soon in the next interesting video